to provide some pop-up menus and um, how we can implement the UI conditions and uh, as usual we just um, start with the any various um, new file uh, and also we can just say that um, control F and I just say in um, set time frame and um, um, pop up What basically I'm going to do that I'm just um, create one message bucket and uh, I have here and I type my stuff start here and even uh, in a different way I'd like to add that one more thing um, select yes so this is like a basically a tell the condition that whether we are going for a yes or no condition um, so that's pretty much like uh, we are making the condition here and when we go to the expressions and the post expression even though we can just like um, make a pre expression means what happening before this pop up and the post expression what should I have to be do after the pop up and also the status expression here you can if I just go to the uh, function button I can be easily select and it just says step result button hit so this is my um, menu then I just click OK so I just like for the sake of that of getting I already make it so if you just make this kind of expression as like a, a step out or um, disable that functionality then basically uh, click ok equal to one that i will explain later when is equal to question mark then local date and i don't have anything in the local button so i'm just going to create um, a variable here so it's in a variable and then we go to the locals and then right click it's kind of um, uh, we just like making a yes or no condition so we just like making a boolean and say yes button uh, I just like making a yes button that's it so when I just call that one like a yes button is here and uh, then equal to true because if it's uh, equal to one it is true and the semicolon and if it is not um, then nothing uh, this is almost pretty everything here so it's like a, one more time it's like a button hit means uh, we get a pop-up menu that uh, which we can have to be select here uh, and equal to one so my button hit is one that means it's going to the yes button uh, then it's coming to the true and nothing so for example if I just go to the general and press and button here you can see that button is one if I just press button equal to e, so expression uh, step button hit is equal to one then we can uh, select what is going to happen the yes and if the button other se select is true then it's the uh, no that will be the commands almost here what I it's like my start select yes or no I just gonna save this one and I this is the breakpoint I can check whether this is just like a check that is any errors in the system or not so there is no major error so I'm pretty happy and when I click here if any expression is going on so when I click here uh, I should set up menu and you can just like a click here and see that I, I whether I have any errors but especially whenever I'm typing any expressions we can just easily check here whether I have any errors or not so I just click um, run button then um, I will okay that's fine then instead of one pop-up I get uh, two pop-ups so uh, now I can just like uh, get into the condition so yes so for example I just terminate this this one for now then I will show you the main difference 
you can just like make a another pop up here and just like a single pop up and then i say this is checked in then i simply save and if i run this one how it will happen that again the user interface uh, command you can just type in it then you see it's checked in and this whether okay or not then it comes to yes or no that's like uh, one of the thing so if you want to stop here you can just like uh, press the breakpoint and um, go to that expressions and you can just cancel um, and if you want to go for another one uh, set the next step to, or if you want to go before set the next cursor to there then run again so you can just check in and again you can say stop then close that one so pretty fun so i'm going to terminate here just for now and um, restart again so this is my pop-up one then uh, i can i add one flow control so if condition either i can double click here or i would say to insert the flow control and if condition and the if condition i would uh, add one message pop up that what i press that yes i press yes so or thank you mm. then i add uh, this should be inside then i add one for one more flow control saying that else uh, if if it's like a press yes then it will come to here and if it is no then what going to happen that's like we define here then if i press so no then i will say uh, sorry no i will say sorry so it's like a, this is a pretty almost all the condition and here we have to be find which expression it is and for that you just go to the expressions and the local and f button this is one of the thing key that's the only thing uh, so then we just check the is a no error and again i just um, save the file then okay i'm going to run this one carefully then what going to happen that the message pop up what was the message pop up is that check in um, then i have the in before i'm coming to this loop i can check yes or no if i click yes then it come yeah i press yes or thank you i just make a break up here and to go go here one more time um, and um, i just uh, disable the pop up then if i just um, press no then it come to the yes thank you so there is some errors in that one so we can fix that straight away so uh, anyway sequence passed but we we're gonna fix that um error straight away so if it's like um uh okay we we have to be put the condition here that um, message pop up and uh, if condition and if equal to true because we have to make a condition whether if i press yes then it's coming to here or it's not so i just like break a point here and just run okay so uet and the check in then if i just press yes it come to there okay thank you it's end and thank you so and one more time just press check in and if i press no Oh no, I check sorry because instead of this step, then if I press no, it come to the automatically to the else case, and if I press yes, it come to the that case. It's a uh, break up point is nothing but you just like want to break, then um, you can just like a step over. That means for example, if I just like press here, then set my cursor, then I can go for this step over, then it's coming to the next level, then they stop. Then I just can go to the next one more level. Then if I press no it will come to the else state yes is come to the if state so uh, let me start with the yes 
when it's coming to the if state then i have to be go for step so manually we run each and every step this automatically we go uh, or if you just like a right click and uh, we can uh, run for the selected step or something that's uh, another option so i just go for a not yes thank you i think uh, that should be almost i just go for all the runs and press you can stop uh, once you stop you will get the test report what we did so yeah uh, station id and um, all the passes uh, all the passes are done and the system yeah that should be everything